today on Six Sister Stuff, I am making some of our grandma's favorite recipes. Now about a week ago, I was going live on a Friday, and if you were there watching, I all of a sudden stopped and I couldn't remember the name of the recipe. I can't even think of what it's called, but there's a link down below in the YouTube. Black, black, honey, black bean corn salsa chicken. Woo, there we go. Because right that second is when I got the text from my mom that my grandma died, and so my brain just was in a different place. As sisters and families, we got to spend the week celebrating her, so I thought we would end the week with a video of all of her favorite recipes. So I hope you love them as much as I do. The first recipe I'm making today is my grandma's meatloaf. Now, we had this all the time growing up. Whenever we went to grandma's house, she always had meatloaf in the oven, and it's one of my favorites. All right, you're gonna start with a pound and a half of ground beef. Now, the recipe calls for ground beef. I like to use ground turkey, so that's what I'm using today. We're gonna take the raw meat and just put it into a bowl. Okay, next we're gonna add an onion. Now, if you don't know my trick, I get a few paper towels soaking wet and I'll put it in between me and the onion. That way you won't get such bad watery eyes. So we're gonna cut an onion, just chop it into little pieces. And then just pour the onions right into your bowl. Then you're just gonna add two eggs to your mixture. Next, you're gonna add a fourth cup of ketchup. And if you know me and if you watch this channel for a while, you know that I like to eyeball a lot of things. Next, we have some tomato soup. We're just gonna add half the can, but don't dump the other half because we're gonna use that for the topping, which is my favorite part. Then we have one tablespoon of W sauce, or Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know, you know what I call it. Next, add one cup of quick oats, and then just salt and pepper to taste. Now, the recipe he calls to mix it with your hands. My grandma would always mix it with her hands, but now they have something called a chopster, and I love using the chopster to mix all my meat and my eggs and all the ingredients together. It just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, this did a good job, but there are some chunks that are hard to get, so I'm actually just gonna get in there, and we're just going to mix this really well. Don't worry, I wash my hands. Okay, so you can use a loaf pan, but I actually like to use like a square pan. So this is a nine by nine pan. I'm just gonna spray with non-stick spray. Then we're just going to put in the meat mixture. Then we're just going to mix it down with my hand. So now you're gonna use the rest of the tomato soup. Now the recipe just calls for half a can tomato soup, but I actually like to add a little bit of ketchup. Hopefully grandma's okay with that. Then just one tablespoon of the W sauce, and then two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then just mix that all together. This is gonna be the topping for your meatloaf. And just pour the sauce right on top. Then you're just going to spread it all around. You guys can hear Harper. She is just woke up from her nap. She is not very happy right now. So you're gonna cook this at 350 degrees for 90 minutes. This was my dad's favorite food growing up and he passed it on to us. So we love grandma's meatloaf. The next one is my grandma's five cup creamy fruit salad. Now, we would usually see my grandma on Sunday, so we'd go over to her house, eat dinner, and this is what she always served as a side dish. This one is so easy because it literally takes three minutes to throw together. So we're gonna throw in, this is 10 ounces of mandarin oranges, and I drained that. It calls for eight ounces of crushed pineapple, so I'm gonna do about half of this. It'll be closer to 10 ounces. Then we have one cup of mini marshmallows. If you need to add more, you can. There's no judgment here. Then just one cup of sweetened coconut flakes. And the last thing is sour cream. Now I know this sounds gross, but I'm telling you, it's delicious. So we just have one cup of sour cream. And if you have a lot of leftover sour cream or sour cream that's gonna go bad, this is the recipe to make because it uses a lot of sour cream and it's a good side dish. Now that that's on, we're just going to mix it all together. Now one thing about my grandma, she was so funny that she didn't like dirty bowls. So she would literally take a paper towel and clean all the outside of the bowl so it looked nice and clean, like you didn't even mix it in here. Anyway, that's my little trick. Now I'm not gonna tell my kids there's sour cream in here because I know they're gonna love it by just tasting it. I hope you guys love it too. And the last recipe I'm making today is my grandma's goulash. Now my grandma grew up on this. She taught my dad how to make it and whenever my mom went out of town, this is the recipe that he made for us. It's one of my favorites. Okay, you're gonna start by turning your stove top on to about medium high heat. The recipe calls for one and a half pounds of ground beef, but we're gonna use two pounds because <laughs> It's just easier that way. I'm just gonna chop this up, cook it all until it's nice and brown. So now that the meat is done, we're gonna add 
in our diced onion and our green pepper. Gonna mix that around with the meat a little bit, finish cooking our meat, and then cook up those veggies. Once those have been in there for a few minutes, it's time to drain your grease if you like to do that. Now would be the time to do it. Okay, now we're gonna add one can of drained corn, 28 ounces of tomato sauce, 30 ounces of diced tomatoes, and don't drain those out. So now we're gonna add three tablespoons of soy sauce and then just one tablespoon of the W, or Worcestershire, or Worcestershire, whatever you call it. Then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and mix this all together. We're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes or so. Real quick side note, if your cutting board gets too close to the fire, it will it will melt, so just so you're aware. I forgot to add a half a cup of brown sugar. So throw that in, mix that in a little bit, and then we're going to add our noodles. Now we're gonna add two cups of your favorite elbow macaroni and just throw it right in. Okay, you wanna make sure your noodles are covered with the sauce. You don't want crunchy noodles here. So once all your noodles are covered, you're gonna turn down your temperature to low. You're gonna put your lid on and then you're gonna let it simmer here for about 20 minutes. And I just have the best little helper helping me in the kitchen. Hi, sister. Hi. Now I didn't love goulash growing up, but as an adult, I'll tell you what, I really do enjoy it. Remnants of the plastic cutting board. You guys, it's not coming off. Well, I'll have to keep you updated on that one. Woo. All right guys, thanks for celebrating my grandma with me today. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you on Friday for our live and then on Sunday for the next video. Bye everyone.